hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is debbie if this is your first time here i focus on diy style and beauty and today's video is going to be on this kimono that i've actually saved in my um diy list for like three years but since i haven't posted in a while i just decided to like you know go all out and make sure i post every week so everything that i've saved for years and i haven't recorded i decided to visit it so the good thing about this is right after the diy i'm showing you five ways that you can style this kimono i had so much fun doing this and i hope you enjoyed this video also don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye here's what you need fabric hemming nets and your scissors so I'm going to start off by folding the fabric into two right sides facing each other then I have to draw a semicircle you can freehand or if you're not sure you can also get a bowl from your kitchen and just do that so after drawing my semicircle, I'm just going to cut from one end to the other, like so. So that's it then i'm just going to measure i need to cut out the side so i'm going to measure 13 inches make a mark and then another 13 inches in so it's almost like i'm cutting out a rectangle on one side and this is going to be my it's going to help define my sleeve so i'm just tracing the line down so i can cut it So there it is I'm going to repeat the same on the other side of the fabric same 13 inches and then cut out the rectangle so this is what it's looking like um, I'm going to take my hem and nets and kind of neaten the middle part. So all you're going to do is fold it over, iron it to become flat, and then you use your hem and net to kind of stick it together so it doesn't move. You can also use fabric glue but i just like the hem in it because it dries faster and it still makes it flat anyway so yeah so now that that's done we're going to seal the parts we we cut open using my hem in it still So these are the parts that you're going to seal the edges of what we cut out. So I've done the sleeve, I'm just going ahead to do the side as well. So when I'm done with this side, I'm going to repeat the same step on the other side of the fabric. And then to neaten it a little, I'm going to fold it over so the edges are not too rough. And then just use the hemming net to stick it together. So this just makes the edges um, neat. So I did the sleeves and then when I tried it on, I decided to do the bottom as well.
so this is the final look thank you guys so much for sticking with me with this diy and stay tuned for the five ways to style